Welcome to Tony Farley's Mayberry Museum basement. This basement is off the hook with autographs and memorabilia from the Andy Griffith Show. Here's Gomer. Golly, Jim Neighbors. Gomer says, hey. That's my favorite saying. Over here we have a uniform shirt. It's autographed by Don Knotts and Thelma Lou. A couple more autographed pictures of Don Knotts. Let's scroll over here. Here we have a uniform shirt. That's signed by everybody from Don Knotts, Thelma Lou, Jim Neighbors. There's Jean Carson, the fun girl from Mount Pilot. And a whole bunch of other folks. Of course, there's Goober. Old Goober, George Lindsay. I don't know, there's probably 35, 40 autographs on there. Here's a few more autographs. Here's a really nice piece. This is a 20 by 30 photo of Andy Griffith from when he was at Mount Airy at Mayberry Days. Sorry about the glare. Here's another piece autographed by a whole slew of them. Here's another nice one. Here's a really nice piece from the first episode with an Aunt B check, Ron Howard check, and an Andy Griffith check. It's actually a Ron Howard Productions check. It's pretty rare. Scroll on back. You can look down through my basement here and see the whole entire basement is filled with Mayberry. It's awesome. There's my Andy Opie lamp. Hal Smith, who played Otis Campbell, the town drunk. Here's a sweet piece. A gas pump handle, autographed by Goober. And if you flip it over and look, the other side's autographed by Jim Neighbors. Here's a magnetic decal that was on my cop car in 2008. We drove Dick Link, who was the executive producer of the Andy Griffith Show and the guy who discovered Andy Griffith. This is kind of like my Maggie Peterson, Charlene Darlin wall. All autographs of her and the Darlin boys. That makes me cry, Paul. Let's go over here to my other wall. Let's take a look. Hey, there's Barney. Hey, Barney. All the people I've met over the years. Different autograph pictures. Pretty rare. Here's a really nice guitar. Guy hand painted for me. Goober and Gomer says, hey. Autographed by George Goober Lindsay. Hey, Andy. Here we have a guitar. Autographed by, I don't know, maybe 30-some people from the Andy Griffith Show. Here we have a mandolin. It's autographed by Dean Webb. And next to that is a banjo that was once owned by Andy Griffith that we've had a bunch of people autograph. And there's a hat autographed by all the Darling Boys. Pretty cool. Another scan down through there. Let's take a look over here. This is kind of like my goober section. A bunch of goober stuff. A lot of Goober autographs. Howard McNear. Here we have Goober taking the car apart in the courthouse autographed. It's a neat piece. And here is a really neat piece. Mayberry Memories book autographed by Andy, Don, Ron, and Jim Neighbors. And it was once owned by, take a look at that, Clint Howard, Ron Howard's brother. That was his book. The 
the actual one. Pretty amazing. Here we have a real script from the Andy Griffith Show, autographed by a ton of people, major character actors. Here's a hat, autographed by Don Knotts, and a whole bunch of other folks autographed the other side. This is a really neat piece here. These are uh, the goggles that Goober wore on the Return to Maybury movie. Here we have Don Knotts hat badge that he wore as Barney on the Return to Maybury movie. And the coin changer that Otis wore. There's the sheriff's decal that was on the Maybury cop car in the Return to Maybury movie. Pretty rare. Go on in here to this other room and take a look at all the Mayberry memorabilia. Hey, Barney! There's the Darlin' Boys back there. There's a picture of Jim Neighbors autographed with a Frank Sutton autograph that says, Sergeant Carter says, I can't hear you! Then this piece right here, this is one of the actual rocking chairs. Autographed by a whole bunch of people from the Andy Griffith Show at a 1995 reunion. More Mayberry stuff. Hal Smith. Don Knotts. And here we have a really sweet piece. This is a clown outfit that was worn by Don Knotts in the Return to Mayberry movie. And Thelma Lou autographed it. Mrs. Barney Fife. And there is a picture of Don Knotts actually wearing that clown outfit with Andy Griffith. That's it. Over here we have a Goober bobblehead. Let's get him moving a little bit here. Hey Goober! Pretty sweet piece. Only six of them were ever made. Don Knotts when he got a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. A huge poster autographed by Gene Carson. How about this? The Dillard's Back Porch Bluegrass, autographed by all the boys and including their sister, Maggie Peterson. Here's the stairwell going up. As you can see, the walls are covered with autographs and memorabilia. Awesome stuff. Well, folks, that's it for my tour of Tony's Mayberry Memorabilia Basement. Gomer says, hey. <laughs>